hand and foot matching. The idea here is just to become a little more precise and thus a little more efficient in your climbing. Matching is a technique we often need to do, so doing it sloppy isn't the answer. Instead, we want to leave room. We want to learn matching techniques and become better climbers in the process. The basic first line of defense here is just to learn to leave room. Learn to anticipate when you're going to have to match and leave, leave room for that, whether it's your foot or your hands. Sometimes, however, you're going to have to take up the entire hold with a foot. And that's when shadow matching comes in. Simply positioning your foot and moving it out of the way so that the next foot can drop on. Same with the hands. It isn't a technique we use often, but shadow matching can be extremely valuable, particularly in a pocket where you don't have the option to leave room. Piano matching is an extremely common and extremely useful technique, and it starts with just replacing one finger at a time if you don't have quite enough room, and goes to the extreme of you have to take up the entire hold and you have to replace each finger one at a time. And don't be afraid to play around with different matching techniques, heels to toes or whatever it might be. Um, sometimes getting really stretched out and working hard for a match can teach you a lot about it. And playing around and experimenting, frankly, is the best way to get better at something like matching holds. <laughs>